minute, motherfucker, to part seven of the 2024 spring season anime previews, the rotational portion of my anime list for the season. So I did it one part shorter than I usually do because I cut down on the rambling. I still rambled a little bit it's less rambling. Let me not continue to ramble and let's get into the top, the tippy top of my list. As a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skills to rise in the world. Now this is full of what I love the most, which is territory building, political intrigue, and party building. Vassal selection slash building a team style animes. This, I've been reading the manga for this. I think I'm on like chapter 31. I think most casual fans are gonna be into this, but if you like fun territory building type series with a little dark side as well as wartime strategy, then I think this will be right up your alley. So it seems that the tower genre is slowly starting to come back. We've had so much success with How to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon, as well as Tower of God getting a second season this year. Unnamed Memory is more of a romance tower fantasy, but most tower fantasies are driven by romance, oddly enough, and that includes the godfather of them, Tower of Drunga. But they had me at tower climbing, so Unnamed Memory is definitely going to be a week to week watch. The Banished Former Hero Lives As He Pleases is another isekai that I have been reading the manga for as well as anticipating for this season. However, this story is very flimsy and very weak. It's one of those OP stories that really doesn't make all that sense from a narrative standpoint. However, if you want that bang, 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 pow, 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 fight, fight, fight shit, this is right up your alley. I am going to be watching this from week to week, but I must admit this might end up going to the binge category. I must say that New Gate is fire, and if you're looking for that bang, 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 pow, 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 fight, fight, fight shit, this is right up your alley as an isekai. But it also resembles a lot of SAO's first season and what could have been. If Kirito had climbed the tower successfully, but before he logged out, he was drawn into a portal 500 years in the future in the same game setting. I don't know if that sounds interesting to you, but it is to me, and it's definitely a week-to-week -week watch. And of course, Go Go Loser Ranger, where the putty becomes a Power Ranger in order to overthrow the rule of the Rangers. This is going to be a great series that's based off of the Super Sentai Power Rangers type verse with a unique storyline, as well as some things that you would least expect in the series. So does that sound good to you? It sounds good to me. So it's definitely a week to week watch. And you motherfucking see it, Oguru with the crew. Oh my God. I never thought I'd see the day where Remonster would get an anime. I've been waiting seven fucking years for them to green like this. And the fact that they green lit gives me hope for the rest of my Pineful 7. So we here with one out of seven done. I want to give y'all a disclaimer before y'all get into this series I've been recommending you. If y'all thought Goblin Slayer was bad, Oguru shits all over the goblins on Goblin Slayer. So just be forewarned, there's a lot of stuff in this anime that is triggering or is going to be triggering. And that's a cap on my wrap for part 7 of the 2024 spring season anime previews, my rotational list. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys look forward to summer season when I once again do this all over again. But I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next video.